What's up guys, how are you doing? If you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Philip Scrub and I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. There are gonna be some awesome films coming this year. Um, and I just wanna thank everybody that's been subscribing lately. We've been growing so fast, it's beyond my wildest dreams. Um, I'm flying back to Poland today, so um, I thought, what better way to use all the batteries so they're safe for the flight than um, do a drone tutorial. So today's gonna to be really simple. It's literally about the Mavic Mini and how you can get super smooth, buttery, sexy, glass-like footage with it every single time. Now, there are some really simple things you have to do. Let me just put this guy down. Right, first thing, above all, um, set up your Mavic Mini um, like I have in this tutorial. I'm not gonna bore you with it how to do it right now. Um, it's just about it being that little bit smoother, helping you out. Do not flick your sticks. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> this is flicking your stick. So you're flying and you're just, you're flicking. Don't flick. That's one thing they'll tell you when you do your um, drone license. Do not flick your sticks or definitely in Poland, the examiner will fail you for flicking your sticks. So when you're going back, you're letting go. It's a smooth controlled motion. This is not smooth and controlled. It will mean your drone will fly and just go. Pfft. You want to have it stop slowly and very, very smoothly. This right here, that is getting your gimbal to go up and down, yeah? So it's, it's, it's um, pretty important because you don't want to be facing in the same direction all the time. This is a very controlled motion. So you want to be using this right here in a very, you don't want to, you don't want to flick it either. You've got to be like using it in such a smooth controlled motion. It's incredible how smooth, it, this is not GTA. This is not Tekken or whatever you, kids play nowadays. <laughs> this is literally um, using these sticks in the smoothest way possible. I cannot tell you guys how many times I've seen people flicking sticks in the drone, you know, I mean, <clears throat> that's a bad thing. Another bad thing, course correction. If you're flying, do not course correct. So you're flying and you're thinking, I might go a bit left, go left. Don't do it. You ruin your whole shot. Keep on flying in the same direction. Count to 10 go in the same direction. If you want to course correct, do it from the very beginning. Um, you have to have a plan. So you, if you want to go left, start veering left. <clears throat> that is very important. No course correction because that, that whole piece of footage will go into the bin. No course corrections. Um, and above all, you know, just be sensible. That's about it. So I'm not going to show you like the whole flying because it's probably going to take forever. Um, and this guy loses signal quite a lot out here. I don't know why. He goes like 300 meters and he's lost signal. So um, yeah, it's not a good thing, but I'm gonna do what I can to show you guys how to get some smooth buttery footage and make it look really nice. So I'm gonna record the screen um, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing with the, um, the yaw here. And um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go do this. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna just go in here. Right, so just to remind you, do not course correct. Look how bad this looks. It goes straight in the bin. Do not course correct. Okay, for the first shot, we're gonna have the um, villa right here and we're gonna go up and we're gonna like tilt pitch <laughs> down. Um, I'm sorry I actually have the EV in the way, but I am pitching down very, very, very gently as I'm flying drone up. So you can see the height is going up, 32, 33 meters, and the pitch is going down very, very gently um, to get this smooth cinematic motion, which you can see reveals the beach behind it, and you can see the top full view of the um, villa now. This next shot is through the trees, over the swimming pool, and going down to the rocks and this beautiful turquoise water. So once again, you can see the pitch, it's 14 degrees, 15 degrees, 16 degrees. I'm moving the drone forward and um, I'm not going up or down with the drone, but you can see that I'm very, very gently, it's 30 degrees now, pitching down. And at the same time, slowing the drone down, which is quite difficult, believe it or not. Right, in this shot, I'm starting with the water and the rocks and I'm pitching up. So I'm actually flying forward and pitching up to reveal the, um, the beach and the um, villas on the beach. Now, this is, it's, 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 it's also quite a difficult move. It's like rubbing your head and patting your belly at the same time. So you've got two things to do. 
Um, and if you have to do them quite slowly and smoothly, it's quite difficult. And the hardest thing is stopping. So getting one stick to stop and getting the other stick to stop at the same time. Now you can see my drone here is going absolutely crazy and it cut out. Now the drone cutting out is a normal thing here. So this is like through the trees, Sam Calder style. Um, I'm flying through the trees, you've got a bit of the villa on the left, and I'm flying to do kind of a reveal shot of the beach down below. So I'm flying forward, I am going up at the same time, and I'm pitching down. Um, so I'm using three things at the same time. So I'm patting my belly, rubbing my head, and pulling my ear at the same time, which is um, also quite difficult. I recommend using two sticks at a time, but if you can, you can do three things at a time. So move forward, go up, and pitch down. Um, but I'm trying to do it as smoothly as possible and I'm trying to stop as smoothly as possible, which is not easy when you've got three things um, at the same time. And this last shot here is the villa. I'm going up, I'm going forward, and I'm also about to start pitching down. Um, I'm sorry, I've got the EV in the way again, but as you can see, the little dot it is gonna start pitching down. Obviously, by the, by the image you're gonna see, I'm going to start pitching down here so to reveal the um, Takamaka Beach, it's called, behind the villa. Now, let's see what this all looks like straight out of the drone. So you guys see what I mean. Um, those examples were exactly what to do and one example of what not to do. <laughs> um, you've got to be butter smooth on the sticks. It's, that's what it's all about, the cinematic smooth footage so that it looks like it's straight out of Hollywood. You have to just be so smooth. It takes a lot of practice. And you know, the beginning um, and end, especially the end normally, um, have to be just, it's, it's just, you're, you're not flipping it. Don't flick the sticks. You're just letting it, letting it come back to its position so slowly and so delicately that the viewer cannot notice that you've kind of stopped your drone. So that's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that's about it for today. Um, I think I've used all my drone batteries, so I'm just gonna soak in the pool here. I'm obviously gonna get undressed first. Um, no skinny dipping, just like, you know, just, you know. It's a nice pool, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, remember, if you guys haven't subscribed, um, that would really be awesome and it's gonna help me out a lot. Um, Mavic Mini, awesome little thing.